All right, Greg Pouir, Bojunkie Media. We're at the 2017 ASA in Paris, Texas, I'm joined by good friend Jesse Broadwater. We are we're ready for the known pros. We have Lewis Holmes with a, a stout 454 for the weekend, Chance Bobeff with a 450, Tim Gillingham, Stefan Hansen, and Chris Perkins uh, all tied at 442. What do you think, Jesse? I think it's some outstanding shooting from these guys. I mean, the courses this weekend wasn't, uh, you know, super tough, but still, that's great shooting. Um, I mean, I ended up 32 up and felt like I shot great. And only, only had a few shots that I wish went a different way. So these guys are on top of their game. Absolutely. So here we go. Stefan Hansen and Tim Gillingham starting off from their knees. Yeah, they are. Just to just to mitigate the wind, which is interesting for Stefan Hansen because he's uh, from Denmark. So shooting the world archery stuff, he should be used to this. Tim Gillingham's excited about that shot. This could be an exciting shoot off here if Tim Gillingham's going to start gunning for him. Yep, he came right out gunning for it. So Louis Holmes starts off with a 12 right off the bat, putting him at 466. Louis shot great this week, and that's all. The, I mean, he absolutely amazing. Yeah, he sure did. Chance shoots a 10, moving him to 460. That puts that makes Chance fall six points behind Louis Holmes after target one. We got Tim Gillingham, who shot from his knees here on the Black Panther. 14 for Tim Gillingham. That's wow. awesome. That's the way you make up some ground in this kind of yeah, conditions. It sure is. We have Stefan Hansen, who shot from his knees with a 10. 452 for Stefan. And for Chris Perkins on the Javelina. A 12 for Chris Perkins. That's going to be a good move for Chris right there. 454. So Lewis Holmes opens up his lead on Chance. Lewis Holmes with a 466. Chance Bobiff at a 460. We have Tim Gillingham after that awesome 14 with a 456. Christopher Perkins with a 454. And then we have Stefan Hansen from Denmark at a 452. Here we go, Jesse. Second arrow in the known pro here at the ASA in Paris, Texas. Stefan Hansen from Denmark and Tim Gillingham from Utah are uh, shooting from their knees once again. Tim Gillingham, 14 to the first target from his knees. Yeah, worked for him the first time. Looks like Stefan Hansen put some English on that that one there. I don't think Stefan Hansen's going to be super happy about that. Okay, first step. Five for Stefan Hansen. 457 for Stefan Hansen. That's that's all but going to eliminate Stefan at this point. Eight for Tim Gillingham. 464. That's gonna that's gonna set Tim back a little bit there. Kind of nullifies that 14 when you come out and follow it with an eight. Yeah, it does. Yes, he called it for 12, right, Chance? Yep, Chance called yes, it upper. Called it. 12 for Chance Bobeff, calling the upper and hitting it for 72. An eight for Lewis Holmes, 474. That, look at Chance Bobeff closing the gap there, back, yeah. back within two points of the leader, Lewis Holmes. Twelve. Four sixty-six. So Chance Bobeff closing the gap there. The Louis Holmes started off with a twelve, follows that up with an eight to slip back a little bit. So look for look for Chance Bobeff to keep making moves here, heading into our third arrow.
All right, here we go. Third arrow in the known pro here at the Paris, Texas ASA. Tim Gillingham still shooting from his knees. Tim Gillingham has shot a 14 and an 8 thus far. Stefan Hansen had shot his first two arrows from his knees, has now uh, resumed standing up. Chance Bobeff's been uh, steady here with a 10 and a 12 oh, to no. remain within two. Chance Bobef. Chance Bobef with a uh, with a with a uh, wind error that has resulted in Chance's arrow hitting the back leg down by the knee. That was an eight on that first arrow. Ten for Chris Perkins. It was an eight for Lewis Holmes to start. We have Lewis Holmes. Lewis Holmes, 10, excuse me, 484. So Chance Bobef currently sitting at 472, but something something had to have happened there with Chance. That's yeah. going to be a five for Chance Bobef. Not quite sure what happened there. That puts Chance at a 477. Something something had to happen there. Jesse, what do you think? Yeah, I, I don't know if he got caught by a gust or, or something else happened, but... At least he was lucky enough to, to catch you know the animal Absolutely. on that one. Tim Gillingham with an eight with a 472, and that uh, that first arrow that I called an eight uh, for Lewis Holmes was actually an eight for Stefan Hansen. So that's going to put that's going to put Lewis Holmes with a pretty sub substantial lead heading into these with Chance Bobev shooting a five. So Lewis Holmes just needs to maintain from this point out. All right, here we go. Fourth arrow in the known pro here at the Paris Texas ASA. Pretty, pretty big development that last end. Chance Bobef <coughs> shooting a five down in the uh, back leg. Chance actually looks like he changed his stabilization and uh, has a wind bar on the front. Yeah, I, I noticed that he has a. I didn't know if he just added more weight, if it was a wind bar or what. But trying anything they can do to. Absolutely, calm, Tim Gillingham still shooting from his feet. From his knees, I should say. It's like Lewis Holmes still shooting strong out there. Lewis is such a good competitor, it's hard, hard to tell if he's hitting 14s or blanking targets. He's just so yeah. optimistic out there. He's really fun to watch. He is, yeah. He's a fun guy to shoot with, too. Always has a smile on his face, always has a joke. Great guy. Chance is struggling here with with the wind. Yep, Chance is having a hard time here. The goes to let down, arrow pops off the bow, had to reach down and pick it up off the ground. Uh, shoot, shooting this kind of wind is not not for everybody. No, it's not. It's no fun for anybody. Chance Bobef comes to full draw again. Breeze is not letting up, that's for sure. Okay. Here we go. All right. <coughs> this will be through four guys, so four arrows, these will be the scores. Ten for chance. Four eighty seven for chance. Next up for our leader, Lewis Here we go with Louis Holmes with his with his little black eagle arrows. With a solid ten. Which at this point, Jesse, is pretty much all he has to do. Yeah, he just needs to keep on cruising, keep it on cruise control, and, and he'll have it made. Ten. Ten for Chris Perkins. Moving him to 46. So Chris Perkins has been steadily, steadily gaining on the, on the crowd there. 
Looks like Chris Perkins is going to move from uh, fifth to a potential podium spot. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's he's a great competitor. He's had a step dancing on that last target. Good year so far. Tim Gillingham with a five, 477. <laughs> All right, here we go, Jesse. Fifth and potentially final arrow with Lewis Holmes at a 494. Ch Chance Bobeff at a 487. Chris Perkins at a 486. Stefan Hansen with a 479. And then Tim Gillingham after that two eights and a five is down at a 477. So Lewis Holmes can seal the deal on this right here. Look pretty good. That's a pretty significant gust right there. Tim Gillingham still shooting from his knees. Chance Bovef goes to let down and arrow falls off the bow again. Just so tough out here, Jesse. This wind is, yeah, is just incredibly difficult. It is. I mean, in a way, I'd love to be up there with them guys, and in another way, <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Right. But I mean, you have Chris Perkins and, and Stefan Hansen, two of the best outdoor feeder shooters in the world. Yeah. And they're they're up there struggling as well. So this yeah. is this is pretty extreme weather here as far as wind goes. Oh yeah. Yeah, they've shot in pretty extreme stuff. I, I know in a couple, few years ago in Turkey it was unbelievably strong winds and so they're you know, he's used to shooting in it and those guys are. Chance Bobeff lets down again. That's going to be two letdowns for Chance, so this last arrow is going to have to go. Chris Perkins waiting for the uh, waiting for the gust to slow down a little bit. Chance Bobeff to full draw. This is his third draw, so Chance has to fire this arrow, or it'll be a zero. I mean, with with no time rule here, with just the letdown rule, there's there's really no reason for for Chris to rush the shot. I mean, within reason, of course. Yeah, there's not. I mean, I think you can catch a little break here and there. Yeah, he got that one off Looks pretty like quick. Looks like he, yeah. So here we go. Chance Bobeth with a 12. So he made it made it count. He made those two letdowns count, didn't he? Yes, he sure did. All right, here we go. Tim Gillingham. He went for the 14 on this one. Winds up with an eight. Yep, it's an eight for Tim Gillingham, 485. Stefan Hansen. Looking for a 14 of Stefan Hansen from Denmark going for a 14 on the Black, Black Panther. Ends up with an eight. 487. Let's see what Chris got here. Looks pretty solid. Twelve for Chris Perkins. Look at, look at uh, Chris Perkins. He's just been steady. 12, 12, 10, 10, 12. Yeah. So Chris is. Chris did that in Fort Benning as well. He just kind of snuck up behind there and ended up taking the win. Yeah, he came in with a game plan and looks like he's executing it well. All right, folks, here we go. This is the sixth and final arrow in the known pro at the ASA in Paris, Texas. We have Lewis Holmes with a pretty commanding lead at 5.06. We have Chance Bobef after an unfortunate uh, five. 
uh, at a 499, and then we have uh, Chris Perkins, who's been steadily creeping up the pack at a 498. So Chris Perkins is going to go from fifth onto the podium, no matter what. Uh, we had Tim Gillingham ended up in fifth, and Stefan Hansen ended up in fourth. Chris Perkins will be first to shoot this sixth arrow right here. Shooting the mule deer. Oh, Ooh, looks like he went for a 14. Chris Perkins with the 14. Look at that. That's awesome. Good shot for Chris. Puts him in, up into the money at a 512. Chris Perkins, you can't sleep on him out here. No, absolutely not. No. He's absolutely on it. So here we go, Chance Bobev shot an incredible score this weekend with a, five, with a 450, finds himself right now currently uh, at a 499. Yeah, he's going to go for the 14 here, I do believe. Virtually has to. I mean, yep. it's, there's, he's, he, he's a lock for, That's for third, so going for, going for anything but a 14 to try to take second away from Chris Perkins just doesn't make sense. Yeah. This is very OPA-ish, Jesse. It is. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry to bring that up, buddy. Yeah. Chance lets down. Yeah, I remember. I'll probably never forget when Chance smoked that 57-yard 14 during the OPA shoot down. Absolutely, that was a that was a pretty incredible shot. It was good. You put the pre pressure on him though, so. No Try. shame in your game, right? <laughs> I guess not. All right, here we go. Chance Bobef on his second draw. 2017 Paris, Texas, known pro. ASA needs his 14 to take second. Chance lets down for a second time. So last time Chance had to let down twice, he ended up 12-ing it on the third draw. So I think yeah, he's he hoping for a repeat there. Yeah. You know, and Chance, you know, he said multiple times, you know, of course it kind of doesn't matter too much in these conditions, but the longer he holds generally, the better he holds. So if you see Chance standing up there for 15 or so seconds, it's not too alarming if you, if you know him. Absolutely. Here we go. Third and final draw for Chance Bobef. He got that one off pretty quick, though. Yep, that's that one's. It looks like it's going to be back in the. Uh, that's a five for Chance Bobef. Five oh four. So Ch Chance Bobef, not not the most favorite wind shooter. He he does not like shooting in heavy wind conditions, but still still one of the best shooters our sport has to offer. Yeah, absolutely. He's been tearing it up this year. Absolutely. So all all Lewis Holmes needs is an eight. So has this guy. This guy was in the uh, Cincinnati, the Indoor National shoot off, and man, he's been he's been plugging away at it too. Shot a Absolutely. Stellar, stellar weekend here. Absolutely. An eight wins it. Yep. For Louis Holmes, after an incredible weekend. There, you, there go. you go. And Louis Holmes is going to be your 2017 ASA Known Pro Paris, Texas champion. All right, folks, I'm here with your 2017 Paris, Texas ASA Known Pro champion. How does that taste? Pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good. All right, Louis, so uh, you have been an inspiration to a lot of archers that have watched you start this process from several years ago. And uh, like we talked about several times this weekend, whether you're whether you're winning, whether you're losing, it doesn't matter. You're always in the highest spirits. So, uh, kind of talk with us a little bit about how this feels actually bring home this win. If well, there's a little bit more to the story than what most people are going to know. Uh, my grandmother's hometown is Hugo, so that's which is right here. Um, so with her being being gone. You know, I don't mean to be a sap and cry about it, but that's that's a pretty big deal to me that I get to win my first professional event basically in her hometown. Um, so missing the arrow in OPA or whatever, 
it all happened for a reason. Absolutely, and, it, and it's not being a sap or anything like that. It's just being human. So uh, talk with us a little bit real quick about what this means as far as your journey and uh, this coming to fruition. Well, um, I've, the type of person I am, I'll take one more arrow at a time. They're never the last arrow, and you just keep shooting your bow. And, um, you know, I might not have been in them shoes if Chance didn't have a male, you know, a, a blooper today. So... I guess for me, I just look at it like it's a confidence booster and I hope there's more to come. You know, and I hope I can be an inspiration to people and, um, you know, I was a bow hunter, I was a bow fisherman, I was just somebody that was in the backyard shooting my bow and, and did a bet and now here I am three years later and competing with the best in the world. Awesome. Congratulations, Louie. Keep on doing you. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.